Hello. Hello, hello everyone there's already so many people in the comments i'm not gonna go back through all of them but hello 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 oh my god lots of clicking hello 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 all the hellos hello 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 to everyone hello leah i saw leah's name also yes we will hold you accountable we will make you do this because i also need to clean my flat so i feel you on this <laughs> How is everyone doing at 10 a.m. on this Sunday? <laughs> yeah. At least seven minutes ago, rolled out of bed, threw a jumper on, looked out the window and thought, holy fucking shit, there's so much snow. What was that? I haven't got a flake. Not one. Oh, yeah, when I texted you guys late last night, like, oh my god, it's snowing, it snowed for all of about 30 seconds past that, and then stopped, and then it rained, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, okay, that's more England. That is the UK in a nutshell. There's loads. Oh my god. I love that. Oh, what is everyone? as well, mate. I know, that's the world fun. really has just gone, you know what, Polacon's the most important thing right now. Yeah. <laughs> Getting some blogging done. I love this. I feel kind of bad, but also I find that hilarious. <laughs> We're just yeah. slowly breaking people. You'll all be thankful for it later on in the week. Oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Have a good cozy up and read and the comments jump. It's snowing now. Oh my god. No snow here down south. You're down south, Jade, aren't you? I am. Yeah. I'm southeast. It's mm. meant to be coming down a bit more this afternoon, I think, and then tomorrow it's meant to be snowing here all day. Really? Yeah. It's supposed to snow here tomorrow as well. And on Thursday as well. According it's to my weather app, which that changes literally minutes. <laughs> yeah, apparently yeah. we have snow all today and all tomorrow. Yeah, ours is meant to start like early hours of tomorrow morning and I, for once, I'm hoping it doesn't come down too much because I have to travel first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm like, please, no. So I have to wheel a very heavy suitcase, very uphill across cobbles and snow is not going to help that much. Yeah. We'd get a taxi. I could do, but it's only like a 15 minute walk, so. There's still a track with your suitcase. <laughs> it's yeah. kind of a track to be fair. One, one week I'll came and get a taxi. I also just don't like taxis. Just sit. <laughs> okay, for productivity, major snowstorm. Nice. Using the first sprint to clear up a Goodreads to read shelf. Oh my god, I need oh to do god. this, but I, I did am that the other day. It was very freeing. I removed like 150 books. See, I should do this, but it's like unhauling. I look at it and I go to click off it. I'm like, but then I won't remember it. I'm like, what if one day I want to read it? So I just leave them all. It's oh, just I'm so savage. savage. I'm like, this came out five years ago. I was excited at the time. I don't give a fuck anymore. And like, really <laughs> <scary. laughs> that's such a mood. <laughs> I need that attitude in my life. Becca will like um, to see this. Reading Even the Darkest Stars. I loved this book. It was such a good shout from Jade. She recommended it to me. And she even sent it me. Thanks, Dave. Love you. <laughs> and I immediately bought the second one. I got like 50 pages in. I was like, fuck it, I'm going to buy the second one. I loved it so much. Yeah. <laughs> good shout. <laughs> Someone's saying no snow, no Birmingham. Yeah, there's just, there's just not. <laughs> it's snowing here for four days. Oh, my God. Jesus. That's really oh, cool. That's what I want. My work would pay for the taxi. I expense all my travel, but like, I still don't like taxis. You have to make small talk with someone. I kind of get it. And also with COVID, like so many people have been in the taxi. Like no matter if you wear a mask or not, it's just a bit like, I do. Yeah. Care. Yeah, it sucks. Well, I have to do my weekly test anyway, which was great fun on Monday. Cause the place I'm working, you have to have site, like a site pass to get a COVID test. Cause it's only for employees. But you can't get the site pass until you have a negative COVID test. And so I was like, okay, so what do I do on my first day? And they're like, are the normal strategies? We beg. And I was like, cool. Nice. Good strategy. So I just had to like nice. drive up to this booth and be like, hi, um, please. <laughs> please, please. Thank you. Please let me in. Love it. Great system. Got rid of all my books on Goodreads. 
I couldn't do that. All of them? I couldn't do it. I did this a while ago and I kind of want to do it again. Just on my want to read list, just so that I can just put on what I physically own on my shelves. See, oh, I, I have a I have a tag yeah. shelf, whatever you want to call it, called yeah. owned TBR. And so I can put whatever book I'm interested in on and want to read it, and I just also tick that. Though I haven't done that yeah. for like the last yeah. probably 20 to 30 books I've acquired, so I definitely need to update it. Because yeah. if like highest rated ever comes off on Dart Attack, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't yeah. have yeah. it anymore. Yeah. Lots of people reading Wolf for a spell. It's so good. Someone else said it and I lost the comment, but Oh, there we go. Starting Wolf for a spell. Wow, Wolf for Wilder today. Wow. Hmm? That comment also said Wolf Wilder as well. Lots of wolves. Oh, yeah. Like two wolfy Wolf. books in a day. All wolves. Rawr. That's great. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of Red Riding books coming out this year because there's like The Wolf and mm. the Woodsman, For the Wolf. There was another one that was like Red something. I'm like, Jesus Christ. And they're all coming out like around June, May, June. Nice. Mad. Nice. Someone DNF'd Bear and the Nightingale. I kind of relate to this. I probably ah, I, I got it. really I tempted. Maddie. I can't deal with this right now. <laughs> I got so tempted to DNF it. It was putting me in a slump. I love it so much. You I don't know why I didn't. Down. I don't understand. I thought I would love it. And I just I cry. I'm gonna cry. Um whatever. It was so, I'm so slow so though. I think a lot of people struggle with how slow it can be because it yeah. only really kicks in. Like the action kicks in in the last 20 pages or so, 30 pages or so, and you're like, Ugh. it was like it's a trek to get there a little bit, but it's good. I really enjoyed it. My favourite book is The Night Circus. That doesn't have a plot. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, yeah. does it, really? True. Mad, though. I can't believe I that. I don't understand it. Really? But yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to continue the series. I'm undecided. I don't currently own the second book. So <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> I'm sad too. I thought it was going to be like a guaranteed five star new favorite. And it was not at all. Say it. What was everyone else reading? Reading the Falling in Love montage. I've heard really good things about that, but I also put that down after like 50 pages. Oh, really? Yeah, I want to try it again, but I just got annoyed at it for some reason. It's sapphic, right? Strange yeah. is not YA. It's often listed as YA, but it's definitely not. No, it's adult. It's adult. Um, but Lady Taylor, people, eh, it's in between a lot of people. Loveless, phenomenal, love it. Pris is with you, right? Phenomenon. Yes! <laughs> I just have the weirdest text, and I feel like I need to tell you. I didn't just have it. I got it about 10 minutes ago. Oh, do but tell. It's from a number that I don't know. It's on WhatsApp, and it says, you keep popping up on my people you might know. Just realised who you are. How's tricks? I've got no idea who this person is. New phone who dis is the response. Yeah. Is it a text or is it like a Facebook message? Because that oh, sounds like they found you on Facebook. WhatsApp. It's a WhatsApp, but hang on. They there's, have no a... people, there's no people you may know on WhatsApp, unless they mean they looked on Facebook on people you may know, saw you, and then were like, oh, I'll text them. But if like, it's people you may know and they hadn't recognised you, how the hell do they have your number? Yeah. yeah I <laughs> hate... He's got a WhatsApp pitch. I don't know who that is. Is your number feel... like on your Facebook or something like connected? You shouldn't be able to access it and text it though. That should be, you could search someone's number on Facebook to find their profile. It shouldn't go the other way around. I have yeah, had this on Instagram though, where, because it's a business account on Instagram, my mm. phone number has been attached and I've had to delete it because some random person off of Instagram yeah. texted me before now. Oh my I was like, this is not a business phone. I do not text me. My friend Meg has like, she does cosplay and stuff. And because she looks a bit like Kristen Stewart, she kind of like blew mm. up on TikTok. So she's got quite a few followers on Instagram now. And she didn't realize like you, like the business thing, like it attached her phone number. Yeah. And some some creepy guy messaged her like, hey, like, like being really fucking creepy. And she oh. like, messaged the u and then he sent her a dick pic um and then oh. so she messaged his university and like sent screenshots good power <laughs> move 
Yeah, I don't know who that is. I'm going to have to text him and be like, hey, uh, I'm good, thanks. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm meant to know how you. How are you? Who are you? <laughs> no, how are you? Who are you? Just don't, I feel like maybe I should recognise him, but I just don't. I'm shit. If someone says hat names. tricks, to me that means like very familiar. Yeah. I don't know if he's like an old uni pal, but I've not been in uni for like nine years. So it's been a while. It's been a decade, hun. How is true? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like he's an old uni dude. Possibly. Yeah. Does his name come up on WhatsApp? Because sometimes someone's name will come up on that, like linked to their account, and you can. Oh, do it. that's a good shot, actually. Oh, yeah. Sometimes in the thing underneath. Mm. Oh, There's people, a lot of people in the comments saying that you people do are starting to do like fishy emails and stuff through WhatsApp, so go a bit carefully. Yeah. yeah. He's like, he can't, he's like got a random full stop somewhere. He actually spelled might as mate. So it's not like a business thing. He's just, he's, yeah, it's not got his name anywhere. I, oh, it James. Be a f Who the fuck is James? <laughs> <laughs> and that that oh, name has know. honestly not helped me at all. <laughs> Yeah, just go carefully because Do you scam, know? spam people. I don't trust anyone. Just gonna check Facebook. Anywho, let's carry on with the thing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, Ooh, coming to up to the first sprint at quarter past. How long do people want to go for? What do people want to get done? I mean, do people want to start with like one short sprint to get us into it, or is everyone just like, screw it, start with long sprints? How's everyone feeling? And this includes you guys, who are all staring blankly at me. <laughs> I mean, I've got myself into a bit of a routine with sprints now where it's like start at quarter past, go for 45 minutes, chat for 15 minutes, start at quarter yeah. past, go for 45 minutes. Nice. Ooh, we're, getting, we're getting a variety in the comments. Yeah. 45 short, 45, 45 short. an hour. Long. <laughs> Just long from Jennifer. Just like that. Long. <laughs> Whatever time that gives us. Yeah, to be fair, a lot of people say 45. Yeah, I think 45. That's what I've got, like, set up for a starting that's point. Enough. I feel like, because one of the sentences is quite a chunky book, like, you have to get into it. You have to, like, you can't yeah. wait Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I may later do some hour-long sprints because I need to film. And filming, like, a wrap-up in 45 minutes is doable but tight, so I might have to do, like, an hour later. But not yeah. filming yet because I can't be bothered. Also, if anyone has any videos that I could film, please tell me because I need to film two and I haven't. I've only got my wrap up and I'm drawing a complete blank. Uh, so, anyone has ideas, comments, or here, please tell me because I'm have lost all creativity having not filmed for like two weeks. I'm really looking forward to not uploading anything next week. Nice. Have a week off after daily vlogs. Nice. There is a Spoops. Spoops is, oh. I love the fact that she's not on the sprints this week and she's actually awake at the start of the sprints. <laughs> <laughs> You've done it the wrong way around there, mate. That's funny. Oh, we do Skyward. Fucking love the book. Anyway. I hate that book. Yeah. Past. Rude. <laughs> what was that? She said she hated Skyward and I disagree. I oh, do you? I gave it oh, two stars. With me. Randy Sandy Skyward. Yeah. I gave it five. I love that book. Sad. The correct decision was made right there. <laughs> <laughs> Put you back in the right order. Oh. <laughs> right, it's quarter past. We need to get on with this. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 45 minutes. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a recipe for disaster. A honestly. mood. <laughs>
Hello, hello. How did everyone do? Shit just got murderous, so I'm gonna meet me. I need to know what is happening. Oh, Pardon? shit just got murderous, and I need to know what is happening. So I'm just gonna meet you and carry on for a bit. Okay. I think there's a bit of an echo coming from someone. Yeah, I can hear it. So I don't think it's me, but it seems to have stopped now. Oh. Here we want. How do you guys do? Uh, I got 41 pages. Nice. nice. Pretty good. I did. I don't have the mental maths for this this morning. How did you do, Steph, whilst I do some maths? <laughs> I managed to edit up to 30 minutes of my vlog so far this week. I have filmed so much this week. I don't oh, no. know. The majority of it's B-roll, thank God. Oh, for yeah. Past Steph for doing loads of B-roll. And luckily my talking clips seem to be quite small. But quick update on the boy thing. Um, <laughs> it's, an, it's, an old, it's an old dating site date which is not what anybody needs on a Sunday morning. I cannot believe he's just messaged. Why? I was like, hey, uh, I'm not doing too bad, thanks. Not to be rude, but where have you been? Like, where have you seen me? And I've got a new phone. So I don't, I genuinely got a new phone last year. So I have lost a load of numbers. So I don't have your number anymore. And he mess he's messaged about six messages, separate messages, no need. Apparently he saw me on Facebook and was like, oh, I recognise that girl. I'm going to message her. And then he was, uh, it turns out he's an old date from OkCupid, okay which honestly, I probably haven't been on OkCupid okay in about five years. So. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh. Just what you need. Just That's what you so need. That's weird. Who does that? So I've just not opened the messages naturally. Who does, well, see, you have nothing better to do on a Sunday morning. Like Apparently not. But how fucking bored have you got to be in lockdown <laughs> to be texting old flame? Like, it's not even an old oh. flame. I think we went on a date at this point. I think we talked on OK Cupid. That was it. I am mortified. I feel a bit <laughs> sick. I think I gave Ben Silver four stars as well. Steph DNF, I think. What's that one? Spinning Silver. Silver. I think, I Beck, I think Beck, Beck with books, I think it was, said she gave four stars. I think I gave it four stars as well. Yeah, I DNF'd it 90 for seven pages in. I just couldn't keep up with the, the POV. three different points of view in first person. It was doing my head in. I had no idea who I was following. I, you. I got you sick of it. it. Sometimes How it's people people, like, I have to be in the right like state of mind to read that type of book. Yeah, and also I yeah. was listening to it on audio, which probably didn't help my oh, case God. because the narrator just did not differentiate between the characters at all. Had she done even a different... have like three different narrators? No, just one narrator, and she just had the same accent for all of them. So I was like, I still no idea who I'm following. Like, make your voice that. a bit, you know, more high pitched or do a different accent or something. Mm -hmm. Just I'm nothing so fussy with audio books. Like, if I listen to a sample. And it doesn't have dialogue in it. I'm a bit like, mm, not sure if I can even like risk this because dialogue, like, it's so important that you differentiate the character voices. Like, yeah. otherwise, you know, if someone's talking, like, if it's just dialogue and there's nothing in between, how the fuck are you meant to know who's speaking? Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Um, how's I do? I think I did like 85 pages. Yeah. It's, it's so nice. quick. It's yeah. so quick. Oh, yeah. Are you enjoying it still? I really am actually. Um, and the that. illustrations are just beautiful. Wait, there was one that really caught my eye. Let me just get it because it's only a few pages back. Gav's going to be so happy, Maddie. <laughs> it's, I'm enjoying it so much more than I anticipated because I don't normally like middle grade. Like, I always find it underwhelming mm. um, because everyone hypes it up and then I read it and I'm like, don't know. So I'm loving the fact that I'm enjoying this. But just look how pretty. Oh, Isn't it gorgeous? I'm just the, obsessed. The only middle grade I've read, like, since I got back into reading, like, three, four years ago, is Nevermore. And that was so yeah. good. Yeah. I really so, liked Nevermore. But there's been a few others that I've read and just been, like, really meh about. Yeah. So I've sort of been like, maybe I just don't like middle grade. But gotta yeah. find the gold. Gold yeah, <laughs> Sophie yeah. Anderson does such good middle grade though. She I, folklore, she's fantastic. Yeah, 
I don't have any of hers. I have, I, I think I'm going to name the second book, but Sorcery Spells, A Tangle of Magic, whatever that series, I've got the yeah, first Michelle one. Yeah. Sprinkle of Magic, is that the first one? Uh, the first one is, yes. Sprinkle of Sorcery, A Tangle of Spells. That's the one. <laughs> I can't I can't like the read, but also, you're wrong. <laughs> but I found the first one of those in a charity shop, so I've got that. So I may try that at some point. But I don't feel like I can read that much middle grade. Like in a row, I have to split it up quite a lot. Yeah. I feel you. I do. Um, have I own it. I'm. I want it. I wanted to read it for Pol I wanted to do Polathon, and then this week I've been so stressed with everything, and I was like, ah. <laughs> so I'll get to it eventually. Dem, how have you broken core part? Just get a new spreadsheet and re-input your books. Honestly, Jay broke it last year. Just she start again. Just re-input your books into a new spreadsheet. Start again. It's the, it's the beginning of the year. Be grateful it's not the end yeah. of the year. Like Jade broke hers at the end of the year. I remember we were it's on a live when that happened. <laughs> oh man, she was gutted. I'm having a lot of fun. So frustrating. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun like start because this is my first year using it I'm having a lot of fun like filling it out each time Same. and like Same. I feel a lot more confident in my ratings now because like Jade City all of my friends have given it basically like five stars like Katie's yeah. five starred it like Tammy and everyone else that Katie's friends with like five starred it so like you know when you expect it to be a five star but when I was reading it I was like it's more like a four but I don't yeah wanna, I don't want to preempt it until I put my ratings in and then I put my ratings in and it was four and I was like yeah <laughs> yeah see i'm using core pile but very much using it however the fuck i want to use it yeah. so if i think a book is five stars and i'm putting it in and it comes out as a four i go no and i go back and change the ratings until it's a five yeah i don't like, think about something else i'm like is it an eight or is it a nine like for like writing or whatever i'll go back yeah same. there's there's definitely some where I'm like I don't know if this is a three or a four so breaking it down like that can be really really helpful but yeah, generally yeah. I'm quite confident in my ratings because mine are so heavily based off like enjoyment and stuff whereas yeah. that's like one part of core file yeah that makes so sense. I use it as like a nice way to think in more detail about the books mm -hmm. but if it disagrees with my rating I will just ignore it <laughs> <laughs> like, it doesn't dictate my rating oh it's going down Oh, I'm so interested to hear her thoughts on this. I'm I'm ready for Jane to come back on. Kind what of fancy. Uh, yeah. The wise and the wicked. But like, what is it about? Do you know? Um, it has, I think, Russian folk. We're not even sure because Jade said that it's it was meant to be. She thought it was going to be one thing, and it came out being another. There's a house with chicken legs in it. It's queer. I think oh. there's some Russian folklore, but other than that, I know nothing right. about it. But she said it's not what she thought it was going to be at all. So I'm not sure. Okay. Where. Yeah, I can't remember what it's about now. I used to know because I know Lala books and Kayla, sorry, books and Lala. She wow. read it and really enjoyed it. And I remember when she was reading it, she t spoke about it in like quite a few videos. And I was like, oh, I really want to get this book. Never got around to it. But yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's a fun question. What's everyone's most anticipated read? We're going to do, I'm going to split this into two, most anticipated read and most anticipated release. They may be the same, but they may not. Anyone have an answer? The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. Uh, it's lesbian, choice. it's fantasy, it's ro fantasy romance. Yeah. But it's like fantasy romance, but that actually has good plot. Yeah. As in, she wrote um, Empire of Sand. I don't know if anyone's heard of Empire of Sand. But yeah, I really want to read it. It's like heavy on the romance, but the plot and story was actually really fucking good as well. So it was like yeah. the perfect fantasy romance. And her, yeah, the new one's going to, it's South Asian again. Um, I think Indian specifically inspired. Yeah. Um, lesbians. And it's like a, I think it's a princess and a guard. Mm, I think so. I think they're like trapped in a tower. And there's like very like, you know, they're like bitching at each other a lot. Yeah. And then, but then they fall in love. <laughs> so I'm very, very excited for that. Mm. I don't know what mine is. There's just so many. Um, Harvey has a video that has about 15 million books in it for most anticipated. If you want to go watch that. Very <laughs> true. And they're all queer. I didn't yeah. even bother including the ones that weren't because I already <laughs> had 50 books to talk about and couldn't cut it down any further. So I was like, well, that will do. I, love I think that. Jade will be really happy about this, but ironically enough, I think my now most anticipated read of the year might be Night Shadow. 
on the face. Mm. It's your favorite in the entire. It's your favorite in the entire series, right? And it's my favorite book. Full stop. Of, okay, on that basis, and also, Traitor's Blade is currently my favorite book of the year. All right, I've just bought the first one on Kindle. Yeah. So it was like that for ninety nine p. When are you reading so, it, Ro? I don't have a plan yet. I just bought it. Tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. now. Tomorrow. tomorrow. I'm, I'm probably gonna read it in the next like week or two. Ah, okay. <laughs> a lot of you buddy read the next one. Because yeah, because Steph and I are buddy reading oh, Night yeah. Shadow at the end of the month to destroy Jade. So but isn't that the third one? Second no, one. Second. Oh, thank God. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah. yeah, I have to read the first one first. So we're doing Night Shadow like right at the end of the month. Right, okay. So yes, like, read I cancelling the plans. <laughs> Cancelled. Wait, where do? Let me go on my. <laughs> I do think it was audio that I bought it. It might have been. The audio. Oh shit! The audio is fantastic, bro. If you do audio books, fucking listen to it because Joe is awesome. He does so many different um, voices. I just. Oh my god! It's one of my favorite audio books of all time. He's amazing, and I will listen to anything he narrates. If he could just lie next to me all the time talking, that would be. Awesome. <laughs> It's, I just right, this. I've it's fallen. in my wish list because right, hang on. How much did, did I buy? He look like? He's his voice is beautiful. Ever fallen in love with a person's voice? You don't know what they look like. I've done it with Jill. I bought it for three quid. Oh, sneak. Good idea. I'm gonna make some sneak in the next one because I'm gonna go tidy right. my flat. The Strawberry yeah. Millions one is my favourite, I've decided. I've tried every single one now, and Strawberry Millions is my favourite. Nice. I've Blue only Raspberry tried... Second. I've only tried Blue Raspberry and whatever the purple one's called. Purple Storm. Delphi. Purple Storm. Oh, no, that stuff is something else. I think Blue is my favourite so far. I don't think I'm going to try the tropical one because I don't like tropical flavours at the best of times. That's the only one I haven't tried. So I don't think I'm going to bother. Oh, What's the I other like, one? That... I like that one. I've got the cherry. What's the other one that comes in the first pack? Stealth. 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 It's like apple. It's not too bad. It's quite nice. I'll give that a go. It's okay. You know, well, like, you ever okay. had any like apple sweets? It's yeah. supposed to be lemon and lime flavor. So interesting oh. that you get apple. <laughs> yeah, I guess what Jade yeah. got. Jade, egg. Jade got egg from me. It's like egg to me. I hate it. <laughs> I may or may not try that one, and we'll see. Yeah, mine went in the bin. I was like, I can't even risk trying it. It's just going to have to go in the bin. I'm scared to know if it's going to taste like egg. But Ro got apple. And my yeah. mum actually got lemon and lime when she tasted it. She was like, it's okay. It's just like Sprite, I suppose. Nice. I feel like I need to try that on a live at some point. I thought it was like live fine. tasting. I just prefer others. Yeah. We're talking about the Great Coat series. Yeah. By Sebastian de Castell. Someone yeah, has I, it again. Okay, so I just, my Lord and I, just, I just bought the audiobook for three pound fifty because of Whisper Sync. So nice. nice. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna. I I want to read it next week, and that was my plan. So I was gonna do the Mime Order and Traitor's Blade, and then I remembered that I have to do Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Yes, yeah, same. I need to. <laughs> Every time you do the acronym for Dreams of Gods and Monsters, I think you're saying okay. oh, man. Don't <laughs> That is not an acronym that is used at all. Like, it's not an acronym that's used, but I'm way too lazy to type out dreams of gods and monsters every time. So I've just decided I'm using Dogam. Yeah, people only use Dogam. But then with Akamath, yeah, people always say Akamath and stuff. So. Yeah. I feel like people use Dosab, Dosab 2, and Dosab 3. But also, like, <laughs> we're just going to go with Dogam. It's downloading. Dogam. Let me know when you're starting it and I'll fit it in. I'll start Preferably tomorrow. You. You're starting if tomorrow? If, I'll start tomorrow if that's when you're starting. I'm not starting tomorrow. Oh, I thought that's what Jade said. <laughs> no, that's what I said. I said we would start tomorrow. <laughs> Everyone, when he, right, just let me know when you are because audiobooks I will speed through. Like, hopefully, I will through. hopefully I can get Dreams of Gods and Monsters done by like Thursday, Friday and then I'm planning to read it probably next weekend. I think okay. is the plan. Sprints next weekend, we'll be reading Traitor's Blaze. Yes. And then two weeks <laughs> later, like, mm, all three yeah. of us will be reading Night's Shadow. So. Yeah. Well, hopefully the four of us then. <laughs> My plan for Sebastian de Castell world jumping. domination is in <laughs> How, Jade, how was your book? 
really freaking good. Oh, yeah, you finished it. I haven't quite finished it. I have like 20 pages left, but I got oh. to a good break after we just had like a flashback thing to give us some context to this fucking thing. Shit. But massive spoiler, so I can't tell you what. Okay. But holy fucking shit. I kind of want to get it. I, I, this is going to stop mm. happening. My wish list this is going expansion. Exponential. What I thought it was going to be. Yeah, you like, keep yeah. on this. Like we've got proper like Russian folktale vibes going on here. Yeah, like, chicken legs. No. Like... Oh no. Is there a house of chicken legs in it? No. Oh, no. misleading. Oh. <laughs> Quite misleading. It's about a family. That, I mean, they originate from Russia, and there are Russian tales within it to give kind of context to their family. But it's a family of women who, when they reach a certain age, they see oh, their I remember this, yeah. They will project into the future so that they can see who they are when they die. They don't necessarily see how they die or the exact time of their death, but they know who they are when they die. So they know if they die happy, they know if they die miserable, they know if they've reached their life goals or whatever. Um, they write it down, don't they? And yeah, they write it down time. into a record that all their family has, um, and then when they die, their family read out. Yeah. And say when they were 13, so they know that it's accurate yeah. or whatever. Um, and our main character's time is not what she wanted it to be and she doesn't have enough time so she is desperate to break the cycle and yeah. not die when her time tells her she will so my time but there's a lot more going on in the background than just that Sounds so her family good. is so fucked up yeah. <laughs> oh my god i sad so about not, lack of house not russian folklore Oh. Not anything polar fantasy at all. <laughs> Love but that. I'm having a good time. Fair enough. Okay. But on that, someone is asking for um, folklore, Russian folklore books. So I'm, we're going to do a 40 right, minutes yeah. instead of 45 because we've run over. So you have two minutes. Go. Burn the nightingale. Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she spent the whole week talking about these books. Come on. I know, I know. The Wolf for a spell. A Wolf for a Spell was really good. The Republic of Birds was really good. Vassar in the Night by Sarah Porter, underrated, very weird, but very good. Um, obviously, The Bear and the Nightingale. Anything by Sophie Anderson. Um, brain. Where's my brain? That's quite a few. That's decent. I mean, there, there's probably more. <laughs> oh, Through the White Wood by Jessica Leake. That's good. <laughs> Jade just reading off every book on her bookshelf. <laughs> just checking that I haven't missed any like icons. Oh, Jade, you'll like this comment. Ever, I know. I think people in the comments are going to go mad for Jade. Yeah. I'm so excited to read it, knowing how much I know Jade loves it, but how much you love. Where are I, you? It must be so underrated because I've literally never heard of it. it is. I did only oh, heard of it through Jade. Like I know spells. I know of Spellslinger, yeah. but I've not read it. But again, same narrator as that does the Traitor's Blade series. Ooh. So I'm like, Interesting. Well, Jill, I'm just really excited to hear Jill's voice. More. And in answer to the earlier question about um, anticipated releases and anticipated reads, Play of Shadows by Sebastian de Castel. Which is like a companion cool. series, isn't it? Yeah, it takes place after the Great Coats in the same universe as the Great Coats, but nice. different characters. Yeah. Cool. It is 20 past, so cool. starting five minutes late, we're going to do a slightly shorter sprint and do 40 minutes, and I'm going to go is that long enough for me to make food? Are we fine? I'm going to get, I'm gonna get oh. some toast. Yeah, I'm going to get some food. Right, let's do this, and then I promise we'll either do 45 minutes or an hour for the next one, because we ran a bit over there. So was, yeah. Let's go. Cool.
Hello. Hello. How did everyone do? Good. I've nearly finished editing this week's reading vlog. I obviously have to add in anything I filmed today at the end. But I kind of like now that we do this on a Sunday morning because it means that on a Sunday morning I can edit everything from my reading vlog mm -hmm. and then tomorrow I just have to fill in what I did today and then that's it. It's ready to go and it makes it so much quicker. That is so good. It saves my ass. Yeah, it saves my ass so much. I'm on the last clip. I've literally got like eight minutes left to edit and then it's done. <laughs> I think every Sunday, like obviously like, Maddie, you're trying to change up who's on them but I think every Sunday I'm going to be in the comments now as well you, I like the longer ones like I was I was like oh I like half an hour ones like on other people's I was like oh like, half hour is cool and now these 45 ones I'm like oh 45 minutes I'm actually yeah. doing stuff. <laughs> it's amazing isn't it game changer did you have a cheeky sneeze or was that a coughing fit no I literally just inhaled and it's really good but I think a tiny bit of spit just like went <laughs> and I just choked and I was like <laughs> Okay. Every time, every time yeah, when I know, she's like, I'm choking on air. What is wrong with you? Do every time. Actually, I like I a human. <gasps> what did I do? What did I do? I tidied my flat ish. Yeah. I haven't tidied this room yet, but I've tidied the main room enough that if I want to go and edit in these sprints, I can have my camera on and the mess behind me isn't obvious. So that's the level it's been tidied to. And I made food, which I finished cooking at 5 2 and ate very fast because <laughs> you had to come back on which was why you're not broken on air yeah true we have an india and you're not late no one's late we're just just chilling how's everyone do 32 pages to page 344 Pris is saying an hour sprint next i was possibly going to do a 45 and then an hour because i want to read in this one and then film in the next one sounds like a plan for some reason, I don't feel like I can focus on reading for an hour today. So we might do a 45 and then switch to an hour. Okay. In breakfast, 31. Two videos filmed in 45 minutes. Nice. nice. 49, 30, 31. Updated reading spreadsheet. If it'll let me click on it. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Hello. That I went the to standard. grab my snake and oh, yes. realised I needed to wash my bottle. And Oh, I hate that. I'm like, yeah. I'm <laughs> and the little shaky bit is so fiddly to like get in all the mm. little boxes. I know. But I'm I good. Up... Now I have a blizzard. So nice. nice. I ended up, I only read 12 pages, but I also had I had my break my breakfast. I had toast nice. and cookie crisp. Health Ooh, queen. Nice. Uh, it was very nice. People probably saw me drinking the milk because I was just like <laughs> 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 that's so funny i have okay it's trying to snow and when i say trying i literally mean like five flakes of snow have fallen yeah also i can't remember who i was talking to about this the other day but my neighbors have got masks on in the house was it one of you lot that i was talking to about this the other day no no jade's got oh my god look at the snow it's so pretty <gasps> The camera does not do it any justice. It's really coming down out there. Yeah. It's quite quite thick. It must have been Pris I was talking to about this. My neighbours have got masks on in the house. I can see them. in. The, I'm not a super nosy neighbour. I can just see them in the back from this room. And they're walking around with masks on. And I can't decide if someone in the house is infected and they're just being cautious, which is right. really... I, do, I don't know if that's odd or not. Or I don't know. They've permanently got someone in there doing work. I don't know. It's really fucking weird. They've all how, got masks on. How long yeah. have they been wearing them for? Because my my two guesses are similar to what you said. One is infected, but you would hope they wouldn't be walking around the house. Yeah, you would hope they totally yeah. kind of stick to one area. My guess is they've had like a family member or someone who's coming to stay with them, but therefore hasn't done like isolation or something. Um, I wonder if they're like slightly breaking restrictions and they're just like being cautious because someone's come from another area of the country or something. I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Which, fair enough, very sensible. Yeah, yeah. It is. But you're in your own home. No one's going to know, are they? Like, it's only no, but if you want to protect yourself, yeah. if someone's like coming yeah. to visit for a few days. Yeah. Where's your mind going, Jade? Toward worksmen. Like, they. Yeah. That's what I thought the other day. Was, 
yeah, there was a sky van earlier on in the week, and I was like, oh, there's a sky van in the house. But it's been the whole week. It's been all week. They've constantly got them on, day in, day out, in the night, all the time. I can see oh, them watching it. The bumblebee comment. Odd. Yeah, I was thinking that as well. Decent it's stab at that. True. If someone is like a nurse working in a COVID ward or something, coming home yeah. every day. It's only been in the last week though, so I don't know. Like you say, it could be someone staying or something. Yeah. I mean, it, it could be that they're at a hospital that's just had like an outbreak or something. Yeah. And so they're just like yeah. being careful right now. I, who yeah, knows? But kudos to them. They're in the house. I mean, they could get away yeah. with not doing it. No one would know. So kudos to them. But I just thought it was odd. It is a bit weird. <laughs> yeah. In the house. I see people like walking alone and like in Swansea, like a lot of areas are really like quiet. Like uh, unless you're literally in the center, most places are really, really quiet. Like there's not people, not, there's not loads of people walking about. And like where I live, there's like no one around and there's people wearing a mask and they're like walking on their own. I'm like, bruh, there's no one around you. You're, you're cool. <laughs> you're fine. I, say, I wear it out and about partially just because if I put it on before I leave the house, I just know I've got it on because otherwise I will forget where I've put it. And yeah. also, it's really warm on my face. I I said this to Steph yeah, the other day, I'm like really fun. enjoying not having a cold nose. I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite <laughs> liking my, it. My glasses, I just like, yeah. I it's annoying. And I can't be asked to wear contacts. Do you know what, actually, I got contacts for the first time just before lockdown, because I wanted to um, get a set for when I was meant to go on holiday in September to Orlando last year. Uh -huh. Um, that, that obviously did not happen, but I wanted to get contacts. So I wasn't wearing glasses every day on holiday. And I got like, though, you know, they give you like a, a week's worth or like a couple of weeks and they're like, oh, try them out. And then I couldn't even go to get more because oh, no. so I was like, cool, guess I'll just stay with my glasses <laughs> then. Oh. Yeah, I feel like somehow everyone has something like seriously important that needed to happen in March I don't know how it happened but I swear the like first official lockdown just coincided with something really important for everyone somehow like everyone's always like oh yeah I was meant to be doing this in the last week of March and it's like oh yeah I had a gig as a wedding photographer didn't happen <laughs> yeah I had a job interview that got cancelled but wow <laughs> Fun. But that's the job I'm now currently at, so it's all worked itself out eventually. Nice. I don't think I had anything. Oh, Gav was supposed to be staying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To me in March. Yeah. yeah. My my brother had a job interview as well. He was literally in a suit, like getting in his car to go and just get to call them. Like, could you please go back to your house and do this online? Thank you. Because <laughs> it was like three days before lockdown. They were like. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> maybe let's not do that. Oh no, Becca! One lockdown birthday is bad enough. Two, that's just unfortunate. Oh, oh no. Mine's October, so I'm quite lucky. I don't think I'll get two. Yeah, mine was December. I'm June, so I have a sneaking suspicion. I don't think it will be yeah. maybe full lockdown, but I'm, we're not going to be anywhere near free by then. You'll not be in the pub. We'll not be in the pub. <laughs> Did you see oh, that they were know. like, oh, we'll open pubs and restaurants as long as you don't serve alcohol? <laughs> they really <laughs> seem to think that everyone is just getting completely rowdy every time they have a glass of wine and they're going to spread it. And I'm like, yeah. I really don't feel like that's the problem. But also, who's going to a pub and not having a drink? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the other side of it, though, is that, to be fair, I would just go to the pub just to hang out with my mates and yeah. have a coke, yeah. like, I'm... But they would be like, you can only go with people in your house or whatever anyway, so then it's like... Yeah. What's the yeah. point? It literally yeah. was the point. I'm, like, lucky that I'm in a uni house with people that, like, are my close friends, because I think if it was just me and George for a whole year, as much as I love him to bits, like, I just would not... Like not have seeing any of your mates, like it's horrible. I can't imagine what it's like for you guys. Like Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> We're a bit quite lucky though. Like I will say I am quite lucky in the sense that I've been able to bubble with my brother and my sister in law and my nephew. And then for me, work I work for my dad. So I've been able to see my parents in that sense as well. Like I have been furloughed, but because of I live on my own for my own mental health sake, I've still been going 
to work and doing CPD training for the year. So, because mm-hmm. I need to get my CPD hours, keep my CPD hours up. So, mm-hmm. in that sense, I've been able to still see my parents. I've been very lucky. But, um, yeah, it's a bummer not to see you, mates. This has saved my bacon this year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I agree with I that. I think I'm now getting to a point where I'm really starting to miss my mum. Yeah. 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 I don't live alone, so I can't, yeah. can't see her. Yeah. Also, he um is on immunosuppressant medication. So yeah. also like not seeing anyone. And I think it's fu- like it's finally getting to a point where I'm like, you know what, I could just really do with a hug from my mum. Oh <laughs> but you know what? I'll see her when I see her. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I'm quite glad that I ended up moving out during the pandemic because I knew to get a place on my own like I would have originally probably tried to get a place with friends but I was like this isn't going to be over anytime soon so I'm going to get a place on my own because then I can stay bubbled with my family and like I don't really get to see them because uh my dad's kind of high risk because he is in like high risk of having COVID because he's a doctor and so works in a hospital and then I obviously have to travel quite a lot for work and I'm, I'm being tested every week and doing everything I can but at the same time out and about quite a lot so I don't really see them, but it's nice knowing like I can if something comes up. So like two weeks ago when I was meant to do these sprints and cancelled it because my family dog was really unwell, it was nice that I could just go see him. Yeah. Like there's no like, oh, we're gonna break the rules, we're we gonna do it anyway. It's just like no, it's fine, I'm allowed. Mm-hmm. So well, let's stop talking about the pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> next, next. How is Next, like, moving on. Lol, this chat is sad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Lisa. Um, what's something good that's happening? I finished my book. Yay! Yay. What are you reading? Yes. I feel like it's probably going to be a four star. Nice. nice. It surprised me. Mm. The ending is incredibly unsatisfying. Oh no! Oh, I hate that. I- this does surprise me to be fair the four star did surprise me because you were like literally 20 pages ago like i fucking loved this book and i was expecting like Mm -hmm. a five maybe a low five but a five but the fact that it's four and the ending being also let's consider i do strictly use core pile and i don't do what people do with like altering the scores just to make it what they want it to be so i'm being realistic it wouldn't hit five stars yeah Um, but that ending was just not satisfying. Like it was good. I liked it, but it was way too open. Like there was not a solid answer to my mm. questions. Uh, uh, and then I Googled like, is there a sequel? No, of course there's fucking not. No, oh, I'm never gonna know. Oh, that's I'm like Wild Girls. <laughs> oh, don't know. get me started on that's bloody Wild Girls. That's exactly the same as Wilder Girls. Like the end is like so open-ended and you're like, wait, but what about this thing? I, no shit, I read a chapter, turned the page, and I've never been confused in my life when it said, like, acknowledgements. I was like, huh? No, <laughs> absolutely not. Where's the next 50 pages? Like, is my copy missing them? <laughs> Ended. I was like, okay, cool. This book has dropped from, like, a 4.5 to a 3. Printed like, error. Just so just have really a good. wild Becca in the comments. I know, I was about to say hello. But someone asked me how old my copy is. He's doing well. He's, um, in the nicest way, he shouldn't be. He's 16 and a half. He's 17 in May. And he was, like, almost comatose, like, really unwell. And two weeks later, he's walking around and barking and harassing my family to take him on walks. And we're all just like, of course you are. Okay, carry on. Be immortal. Whatever you want. I'm back. He's a puppy again. I don't know how he's still going. Ridiculous. Hello to the wild back. (laughs) Oh god. Ambiguous endings are the worst. Agreed. I like Agreed. I like like an open ended one, but not that open ended. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind an open ended book that leaves you thinking like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I don't like it where I, I don't feel like I should be feeling what the fuck. I feel like this should have just wrapped up those final loose ends. Like yeah. Just... yeah. Just a few threads. Yeah. Just a little bit. Right. I just want to know who dies and when. <laughs> and I'm never going to know. No one will ever know. 
How would they know? How would they know? <laughs> we all spend too much time on TikTok. I swear to God. Um, <laughs> right, it is quarter past. We're going to do another forty-five, and then after this one, probably do an hour. Yeah, but we'll do forty-five for now. Sick. So let's go.
Hello. 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 How did we all do? Good. I got my video finished. It's just exporting now, Yay. so I can just have the rest of today's stuff. I'm just moving some stuff around on my computer because it's running out of space. So I'm putting some stuff on my external hard drive. Straight nice. in my hair. And I can film my wrap up and hopefully haul in the next one. Oh, and I managed 40 pages of this as well. Nice. Oh, that is nice. Very productive 45 minutes. <laughs> I'm listening to an audio. So I was doing it while I was straightening my hair and shifting yeah. some shit around on my computer. But yeah. I read 47 pages. Nice. I did like 70. I don't know where I started, but like we, I, I'm going to finish this today. Like no. we're getting there. We've got 150 ish left, so I can definitely do that today. I have seven minutes left of my vlog to edit. Nice. Yeah. I'll be uploading that. Yay. I think I'm yeah. Up. I think the next one I'm going to film my wrap up. And then, I don't know. I'll see. I need to film something else, but I still don't know what the hell was. So <laughs> we'll see I if I can find about something. how I'm going to film wrap-ups in future, because I hate filming wrap-ups. Oh, really? That's why I do mine in such a way that I just do stats now. So I just write down, like, how many books I read, very briefly how many stars I gave them, and then go through my favourite book of the month, my most surprising, my worst, and my most disappointed, and that's it. Like, that's all you're getting out of me. You're getting the very brief. When I, I used to read, like, five books a month, like, wrap-ups weren't that bad. Yeah. yeah. When I'm now reading, like, 12 to 15, it's like, yeah and yeah. you're basically giving your thoughts on them in your vlogs anyway so yeah. i just say to them if you want my full thoughts look at my vlogs yeah i think because i don't vlog obviously i feel like i need to give thoughts somewhere but i consider doing a format like yours steph for a while but now i'm only reading seven eight a month i feel like i can do much because i always do my stats at the beginning so i'll stick with my stats yeah. and then just do a brief chat about each one and try not to go for too long so yeah. I, read now, I only but... read like four to five books or usually I'm trying to read a little bit more I'm I'm like on a streak of like reading every day and I'm on a Duolingo streak I'm starting as well so I'm like Oops. checking boxes every day but with my wrap-ups because it's only four to five books I'm like yeah this is what I thought this book next this is what I thought this book next and then it's yeah. like once it's edited it's like 15 minutes so it's not too bad but if yeah. you wrap-ups are good if you have that that yeah, that books, it's, that. yeah, yeah. Because then when you get into like double figures, I think it gets. Oh. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot. Yeah, because I'm like wrapping up like twenty books a month, so it's I can't be asked. It's, it's like it ends up like an hour long of me rambling that I've already mm. said in all of my vlogs, and I can't be bothered. Somebody yeah. questioned why we do the wrap ups. It's because people enjoy watching them for some. Reason. And also a lot of people don't yeah. watch it's, vlogs and they can't like watch every video now. Reason. So it's a really yeah. good way of getting like a, a wrap up, a summary of yeah. what you've read. There are a lot of people that don't like the vlog format. Yeah. You still want to tell them what you think of books. Mm -hmm. And not everybody vlogs as well. So mm -hmm. like Mads doesn't do weekly reading vlogs like myself and Jade do. I'm yeah, hoping to get back into them. them. Yeah, I'm behind in the comments, comments, sorry. I'm too lazy to edit it all together, like more than one clip. Yeah. <laughs> I, would, I just couldn't be bothered to like clip, clip them together. I, unless I got Jordan to do it, because Jordan Such a like, mood. Yeah. He will, he'll edit for me now, because I'm tired. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, wrap-ups. Wrap-ups are interesting. I, I do them because they're a standard video, and I do think it's a nice kind of record to have, I guess um because vlogs as well like a vlog might be 20 25 minutes to talk about one or two books realistically and yes you get detailed thoughts but it is quite long format whereas mm. wrap up might be 20 minutes to talk about 10 books which is this is why I get easier my my wrap ups end up 50 minutes long yeah so it's almost pointless me even doing There's one no because point, nobody's yeah. watching it this is absolutely pointless nobody's yeah. watching it to the end of that video <laughs> 
I don't know how you spell it. Sorry, right? Sorry, I, I, I like the way, Steph, that you're doing it now, like where you're saying yeah. stats and stuff. Because if yeah. you got, like, as much as people love wrap ups, I love wrap ups, I like watching them. If you had 25 books, it's like, no one's going to watch that, are they? They're going to watch, mm -hmm. like, the first, like, five and be like, oh, yeah, whatever. So your stat yeah. thing is a good idea. You could, yeah. <laughs> well, this is what? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know how useful it would be to do a wrap up where it's literally this is the stack of books I read, this is the title, this is who it's by, I gave it this many stars. This is the title, this is who it's by, I gave it this many stars. I don't I know how like useful that would be to people to be like, this is a list of everything I read this month and what I rated it. That's pretty much what I'm doing, plus the stats, yeah. that's it. <laughs> Whilst I'm not logging, I think I'm going to stick with doing wrap ups, but I have considered. Um, doing like every three months kind of a one line review video so just literally go like what you said title author stars and then like literally a single sentence why i enjoyed it almost like a quick form overview because like lots of people at the end of the year do like every book i read this year which is great but it's so many by that point it's so yeah. long so consider my doing life. it literally so my um thing my my thing has like a quarterly check-in that yeah. is a gorgeous planner what is i that? know this is by little inklings design um she is in canada so i do pay like shipping but i have last year's one is on the floor um last year's one is like rainbow nice and then this year's one is like blue that's because beautiful. i i am so lazy and i will not do a bullet journal uh, I tried. It's never going to happen. Oh, um, I'm considering so something else, to be honest. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I'm still planning on doing a video showing off this. Um, I'm showing off last year's. Cool. So it's like a. Oh, I've done something to this. Oh well, that's fine. <laughs> and I think it'll be really nice to like. I probably won't do it often, but you know, like once I've got a few years in, I'll have like a little collection of these that I can have them on a shelf. Cute. Yeah. yeah. But I'm probably um, going to do a quarterly check-in on, like, all goals and stuff as well. Yeah. Someone said this. I've not actually watched Rachel's video, but I had actually been planning to do something like this for a while. Instead of weekly vlogging, every time I finished a book, I was just going to sit down and wrap it up. And then at the end of the month, I was going to throw all the clips together. I don't know if that's what Rachel's done. I've not watched it yet. Well, I haven't seen it yet, but my friend Victoria does a vet. She's been doing a very similar thing now for about... Yeah, like, I've been considering months. doing it. Yeah. Wait, by the end of the month, any book I finished in the first week, I can not give useful thoughts on anymore. This yeah. is why I hate doing that. So I've been considering yes. doing a kind of vlog style wrap up. I don't, as I said, don't know if that's yeah. what Rachel did, but I've been considering so doing that for a while. That makes sense though, because it breaks yeah. it up for you as well then. You're not bored going like, this book's about this, I gave it five stars. Mm. This book's about this, I gave it four stars. Yeah. Someone else recommended doing two wrap ups. So, like, one, I used to do one mid month and then one at the beginning of the next month. And, like, every two weeks, do a wrap up. Mm. But because I physically hate the process of holding a book up, at trying yeah. badly to explain what it's about and then convey my thoughts, I physically hate doing that. I just yeah. did not want to do it anymore. <laughs> Honestly, the other day I filmed like, it was like a five star prediction, but I also filmed something else where it was like talking about books I hadn't read yet. And I was like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know anything about these books. I just have heard that they're good. So I'm gonna read them like. <laughs> a mood. <laughs> I always feel so bad doing hauls because I purposefully do not research books. I like okay. going in blind. And I'm like, I'm doing this video because I know people like them, but also, <laughs> I can tell you nothing of note about yeah, these books because I've not read them. And I've seen Black so many people like, over the years on Twitter be like, just read the synopsis if you're going to talk about it. I'm like, no, I don't I don't to. <laughs> no. Black Sun, I talked about it twice in two different videos I filmed. I was like, it's about a crow god and there's a bisexual person. That's literally all I know. And there's a sex scene apparently that's very good. <laughs> Apparently that's all I need to want to pick something up. So I can tell you I'm interested in the sex in it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. This is so true. This is literally holes. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. My holes would be so boring because it's all I like, like the most shallow of content. Like yeah. I don't have nothing useful to tell you. Yeah, this is how them. I spent my money. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all of my, most of the book, books I buy are either on Kindle or on Audible. So I'd be like, I, I would have nothing to hold up. I'd just be like, people still list. enjoy people still enjoy a Kindle haul though. I've done a couple of those and they get yeah. people love them. They love them. I was yeah. just made me have a realization. I thought I was doing badly this month because I've bought like six physical books. I just remembered that on like the first of the month there was really good Kindle day deals and I also bought five Kindle books. I uh, including the whole people love it because they think. forget that you well, have some people only read on a Kindle, you know. Yeah, I've bought six 99p romances on Kindle so far this month. What are those I rescue thought... me though, Steph? Pardon? So, I've got rescue me because it was 99p. Nice. I was like, oh, yeah. it has a dog. I want to read it. It does have a dog. She's cute too. I've bought seven Kindle Ooh. books, seven audiobooks, and then one one physical book off Amazon and then my I had my Goldsboro um like GSFF thing come through. It's literally like mm. majority digital. Nice. Yeah. I look at it and I'm like, I didn't realise because I, I, I never used to like write down what I what I bought, which is probably bad. But I started writing it down and now I'm like, oh, I do kind of like just 99 P Two ninety nine. That's good. Let's have that on Kindle. See, I've been writing it down for a while, and it's been doing a really good job of being like because I try really hard to buy less than I read, um, so yeah. that I'm not always increasing the size of my TBR, which is normally my problem. And it's been doing really well for me for months, and feeling really good about it. Um, and then in the first week of February, I think I've bought more books than I will even possibly read in February, and I'm just like, I'm not going to think too hard about this. <laughs> Um, because I went, I went on a little book buying spree, and I've got another one coming today. Because I found out Amari and the Night Brothers had silver edges, and yeah, I need it. I got to do my book buying spree at the end of today. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Or should I do it tomorrow? No, do it today. I do it today. Yeah. Do it today. Are you gonna put it in the vlog? Oh, maybe you could do a separate video. Mm. I've done a mini haul in my vlog this be week. Enough for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done a mini haul in my vlog this week. Like, look, I was stressed. I bought seven books. Leave me alone. <laughs> Do not judge me. If Do I finish a book today, I get to buy seven books as well. I bought three books this week. No, I've bought more than that. But some of them haven't come yet. But the three books that I have bought this week, I will have read by the end of today. See, that's pretty good. I yeah. will have not read any of mine in the next, like, few months. Yeah, same. I'm, like, plowing through... I bought them for Polathon specifically because they were continuations of series that I started because of Dave. <laughs> yeah, I think the only one. Five stars. Well, I domination. <laughs> the only two that I've bought recently that I think I will actually read really soon are All My Friends Are Rich because I just am dying to read that. So I'm going to try and get it on my next month's TBR. And hopefully the mask falling as well. I'll get to in the not too distant future. Though I do need to read my order, song rising, and dawn chorus first. Yeah, so it may take a minute. <laughs> Go on. A little bit. A little bit. On a book, I couldn't do a book buying bam. I couldn't do it. I love that Dem Dem knows me so well. Her comment: Jade's like more videos. Please no. <laughs> 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 You want to make content, ew. <laughs> Becca's going on about Queen of Empire it is by the creator mm. of Zero Feb. I actually got the Kindle version uh -huh. of that and the audio, and I'm really looking forward to giving it a read. I assume it's fantasy romance by the fact Yeah, it's on, I think it's on Kindle Unlimited at the moment as well. Oh, right. I don't have Kindle What's Unlimited. It? You have to pay for Kindle Unlimited. It's yeah, like, we can get like a free mm -hmm. trial. Yeah. To be fair, it's one ninety nine on normal Kindle, so fair yeah. enough. Um someone's saying how long are we planning to sprint? We in a matter of seconds are gonna do an hour. Um and then I don't know if we're continuing past that. We will see how everyone is feeling. Yeah, I need to go shopping, so I will yeah. be going after the hour, but obviously That's fine. I'll probably stay a bit longer because I wanna film in this one. I need to edit my vlog and I need to read, so yeah, I'm happy to stick around for a bit. I'm happy to stick around. I need to do my vlog and read a whole book today. So Yeah. Yeah. Basically that's how this is gonna be. It's whilst we're being productive and people wanna be here, may as well carry on. Yeah. So Check Oh my god, yes, Chris, you better freaking voice note me. I am waiting. Also, for anyone that doesn't know, Chris is reading the electric air and I'm dying, Ooh. so you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're a minute late. 
close enough. Cool. Let's go. See you in an hour.
Boo. Hello. Hello. Also, I don't know why I'm finding it so funny that Rose thing just says tax lecture. Just <laughs> it, yeah. Really tax lecture. And I took a bookstagram photo because I got dressed and then I was I like, saw. Oh. Yeah, I just took, nice. I, I was like, I just bought a book with yellow spread edges. So I'm wearing yellow. Let's take a photo. Nice. I probably should take some bookstagram photos, but we'll see. I may do it in the next sprint. I literally do it whenever I feel like. <laughs> I'm just like, that would be cool picture. <laughs> I would do that more often if I lived here. But yeah, I can yeah. only take them on weekends. So I kind of have to be like, do I want to post this week? Okay, I should probably take something. Yeah. yeah. How did you do, Steph? You finished editing your vlog? I did. I It's all it's um, exported, not uploaded, because I haven't finished it yet, obviously, because yeah. I need to film whatever I'm filming today. I yeah. filmed... Filmed my wrap up, filmed my haul. I'm partway through editing my wrap up, so I put all the books back Ooh. on the shelves. Um, yeah, my haul ended up being really fucking quick because, again, I'm not doing the whole, you know, like going no. through ridiculously yeah. what this is about. So it was like it ended up being about 12 minutes long, and I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> we love that. Yeah, I filmed my wrap up, and it was the shortest I've ever done one, partially because four of the books I've already talked about at length in a blog and I was like I can't talk about these individually because it's four books in the same series so it's just kind of like yeah. I liked them yeah and also on that note Chris has finished the electric air and I'm very excited about ah, this nice what a legend also Jade will be happy to hear this and this is just making me laugh my mum is watching these sprints because she always watches and with everyone talking about um, Traitor's Blade, she's like, I'm intrigued. So she downloaded a Kindle sample and thought it seemed fun. And she's bought the ebook and is reading it when I wrote it. Yeah. I love your mum. <laughs> so she's reading it too. What an angel. Hi, Maddie's mum. Really <laughs> oh, your mum is such a legend, Maddie. She's like, I've got some really dense books on my TV. I feel like something fun. And she said she loved the way that like the narrator was really witty. And she's like, this seems fun. And I was like, go <laughs> for it. Brilliant. Breaks I'm that so wall all the time to just stop yeah. in the middle of an action scene and be like, so you're I'm probably so wondering how I'm gonna win. <laughs> Literally, if I I love that. My motivation for reading Dreams of Gods and Monsters, other than the fact I want to and I need to for the live show, is so I can get to Traitor's Blade. <laughs> Literally, I feel so excited now. The way you say about like the fourth wall break type thing, The Ruin of Kings, which I read last month, has like footnotes, but they're not like, mm. you know, they're not like the Never Night ones where it's quite like up themselves. It's Wait, like Ruin a of Kings has footnotes? Yeah. Well, that's boosting up my but TBR. I, I listened to it on audiobook and thank God they had a, a completely different narrator for the footnotes which I thought was nice. like genius, but it's nice. like a character in the series and it's not like kept away who it was. He basically says straight away, oh, that's me. He's like, this is me, <laughs> like in, <laughs> in the story. He's like, that's me. Uh, also, he's wrong about that. Uh, like he like just pipes in with stuff like <laughs> that. Just that. Funny. I've not read it, but what's it called? It's a book Meg from Meg with Books loves. It's Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter. That one. That intrigues me because yeah. they say that that's the thing that happens. Like they all interrupt each other because one of I them's writing that. the book and all the other girls interrupt to be like, that's not what actually happened. Yeah. And I'm like, this sounds like it would be fun. Yeah, I can't wait to read that one. I yeah. just have to go back to your mum, Maddie. I was scrolling through, funny story, story time. Um, <laughs> I was scrolling through my Instagram the other morning and I was like, oh my God, like Maddie's liked my, my Instagram post, like scrolling through my likes and stuff. But above Maddie's name was like the name of the person the same last name as maddie's last name and i was like maddie is this a coincidence or is this your mom liking my instagram post and she was like yeah that's my mom it's a coincidence that they're above each other on the likes but yeah it's my mom i was like oh my god your mom is yeah, she, she follows you all and subscribes to you all she's so she's... <laughs> you muted love... jade finishing right. it trying to say something <laughs> Sandwich. Just love your mum in general. <laughs> yeah, she's so cute. She loves it all. Oh, good. Okay, Pris has given the electric hair five stars. I'm happy. <laughs> Always good in the world. We love to see it. We do. Raven boys. I love the Raven boys. Just mute us. Go finish it. If you've got seven minutes, 
Go yeah. read. Yeah. Go. go read. Go read. Go read. Go read. Go read. <laughs> you can let Jane know what you want. That one. Maybe. <laughs> what makes you think that? <laughs> <laughs> just a guess. It's just a completely rogue guess. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't know if there's no comments go through, all the comments are frozen. I'm so nervous about the comments freezing. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there's an alley. Hello. Oh, I've read exactly 100 pages on this live. That's pretty cool. Nice. Good job. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying hey. it. Yeah, I, I don't know how many I've read total. Where did I start? I think I've read like 160 total. Nice. How long have you got left? I've got 150 ish, 145 left. So I may or may not finish it on the live, depending on how long we go for. Mm. But I'm going to read in the next sprint and then probably go edit in the one after that. Because I do need I to get the vlog. <laughs> I need to get the vlog pretty much completely edited today because. Although I could finish it tomorrow, it needs to go up tomorrow and I work till half five. Yeah, yeah. so there's like no time. It, like if I had like a thumbnail to make, that's fine. But the actual vlog needs to be edited today, which is fine. Because mm -hmm. as soon as I finish this, I'm going to end the vlog there, like not at the end of the day. So I can start earlier, which is good. Yeah, I'm thinking I might not end up picking up that final book on the basis that I still do have like over well just shy of half of this book left to read and mm -hmm. i kind of don't really want to rush that other book so i might finish the vlog after this one maybe i don't know well after saying that though you have all of that to read and are you obviously i'm assuming you're doing some sprints later i don't know yeah, are there any sprints tonight i assume there'll be some polathon like rounding out polathon yeah, ones. yeah i hope to well, do some tonight i want to join but my husband has decided we're drinking so Nice. <laughs> I love how that's not a like group decision. It's like they have decided we are drinking. Yeah, we're drinking so cool. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shoot off just before you start the next sprint because I need to go that's shopping. Fine. Cool. Uh, food shopping, obviously, pandemic guys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nothing's open anyway. So. But it's been so lovely reading and doing positivity with you. I've actually got a lot done. I'm so grateful. <laughs> <laughs> love you. thank you for joining us love you loads and i will see you all very soon we love you bye, bye. bye. <laughs> bless her also i've just seen this that's such a cool idea like doing reviews of books on procreate with a voiceover for a wrap-up that's so cool and creative i love that nice that's really cool <laughs> becca scrapped oh. the final book Fair. i don't blame her or I could just not. Yeah, I'm thinking the same. I can't decide whether to... But the problem is, I really want to read it and it would wrap up another series for me. That what I literally... What do you want to do? It's uh, All the Wandering Light, um, the second one for... Mm, that's that's so quite a lot to read, though, isn't it? Isn't it like 450? 400? Something like that, yeah. It's a relatively chunky one. So I don't know whether to... Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to start it or carry on, just carry on with the Well of Ascension tonight. I'm not going to get that finished. I've come to that conclusion, but just carry on with yeah. that tonight. Because I really want to edit these two vlogs, uh, vi videos, and then all my videos for the week are ready to go. Nice. So all three videos for the week are ready to go because obviously I didn't upload Thursday and Saturday and I'm still feeling a bit shit about it even though I don't yeah. need to. So I just want to make sure that I've got all my videos done for this week and then I can focus on next week's videos this coming week, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, I did. I didn't upload Monday, Wednesday, Saturday this week. I've not done a single video. So yeah. the last reading sprints and these reading sprints are back to back on my channel. Oops. <laughs> um, nothing in between. But I'll have the vlog going up Monday, hopefully wrap up going up Wednesday. And then depending on how I'm feeling on Friday, I'll try and film something to go up on Saturday. I still, or if I suddenly have an idea this evening, I'll film something. But I still currently don't know what to film. So yeah. it's okay. It's okay. It's made up for your lack of content. Exactly. Day this week. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it like that. I purposely didn't upload this week because, like, we needed people to focus on all the Polarfon content. Absolutely. I'm gonna claim that's the reason, <laughs> not just disorganization. Yeah. <gasps> Ali, I'm so excited. I don't know what it is. Ooh. 
I'm literally, I'm, I'm just going to start hinting now. These guys know I have a readathon I'm planned for June. I'm so fucking excited. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm trying to get the first week of June off of work so that I can like be fully involved. I'm so hyped. So lol, you all have that to look forward to in four and a half months. I'm excited for you. I'm hyped. I'm thinking I might pull out another Raidathon. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, oh, I got so excited I dropped my highlighter. Sorry. Yes. Depends what else is going on because obviously Raidathons are always quite last minute and require zero preparation. So if there's nothing else going on, I might pull out a Raidathon in March. I will not stay up for the full 24 hours, but I will definitely read as much as I can that day. Because I hope Do Man is like an extended. 24 and 48 maybe over the weekend kind of thing like you like you yeah. did this weekend you mean yeah but i actually do it you know <laughs> fucked up this weekend didn't oh, I? <laughs> um someone oh where's it gone someone said how long is it going to be it's going to be the whole of june it's going to be a whole month because i don't do anything low-key as everyone knows i just i'm stupid um and assuming because it's pride month originally that was why it was going to be june it's not going to be specifically pride related but with it being pride month i'm going to be basically saying like if you can fit lgbt books please do like because pride month but it's not specific yeah to that need to plan i please please can we have another one of these <laughs> high school please. I need so, so bad in a weekend period do it do it and also, haha, now like 350 people have seen this, so you have to <laughs> <laughs> let yourself into that one. It was um, so much fun last time. You did such a great job with it that. Was phenomenal. It was it's incredible. Mm. Um, for this, I don't have a readathon or anything going on on the 15th. I don't know if anyone else does, but Spoops and I will be buddy reading Battle Royale in this week. And I think, Steph, you're joining us that week as well. Uh huh. Battle Royale. So if you want to read Battle Royale that week, we'll be chatting about it lots in the Discord, probably. So, yes. Becca, yes. Becca, yes. Yes, Becca. Yes, Becca. <laughs> she has a wild idea, but doesn't know how to pull it off. Do you need I some know. soundboards? Because we're all I mean, in. Not yeah. the whole thing, but, like, you know, drop us a message. I mean, the same again would also be great, because it was really good the first time. It was so. really good. Um, kind of myth take, whatever it was called, make your myth taker was kind of mythology and folklore related last year, I think. But I don't think you had to read like mythology and folklore related books. It was just like the theme. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I just realized it was half past. Um, <laughs> how long do you want to go for? How is everyone feeling? Comments you. Hour. Um, Hour? Jamie is the decision maker, you know? <laughs> I haven't like even started comments. this book yet, and I need to read it all today. So, yeah, Ooh, yeah you to... need it. Why are there no page numbers? What? What? No. It's just, it's just at the end, there's no page oh. numbers. Oh, okay. Okay, everyone's okay, agreeing so on an hour. 189 pages. I can Ooh. totally do this today. Yeah, yeah, you've got that. What is it? Are you, doing it? Are you telling everybody or? Oh. Yeah. It's in her name. Oh, it's my apologies. Goofus. I haven't seen that cover before. That's beautiful. That is really pretty. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And it's Slavic. Yay. Yay. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Carla. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. I think she just missed the zero off the end of that. Probably. <laughs> right. Lisa, three hours. <laughs> I was like four hours earlier and I was like, I feel like that would not be an interesting live. But, yeah. Cool, right, let's go. Let's do six hours. Ali, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will run out of StreamYard hours at that rate. Right.
Hello. Hello. How did we do? Good. I managed to edit my January stats, like my January wrap up. Um, do my thumbnails for both the wrap up and the haul. And listen to 40 page, no, 14 pages of the Black Ice Bridge. Also, I got a delivery and it's from <gasps> Mella. It's from Pris. Yeah, I'm so excited you've got it. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? She sent me a little voice note to go with it as well, but this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. It's adorable. Bella. I love it so much. <laughs> this is my little brain frog. I love her. <laughs> Same. She's so fluffy. Cute. I don't know if anyone noticed in that sprint that I got kidnapped. I wonder if he's going on. I was like, I can I, see Jade's arm. Is that Jade's arm or is like, it Jade's He arm? came in, took the lot off me and took it away. And I was like, no, come down. <laughs> and then he dumped it on the floor and literally dragged me out of the room. And I was like, <laughs> oh, my God. Why I that? missed that completely. He demanded cuddles. He was like, I want a nap. Oh, you bless to, it. You need to come with. So I was kidnapped for a small period of time. But I still managed to read 52 pages. So oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm you very, very excited me. about this. Same. Uh, I'm, doing, I don't, I'm trying to work out how I did. I can't work out what page I was on at the beginning of the sprint. I thought I was on like 280 or something. You had like an hour and something left to go. A uh, hundred and something left to go. Yeah, I thought I had like 140 left. But I've got like... 60 not quite 60 left now but i swear i was on page 280 so i feel like my maths may have just been really off i'm not sure but i've got like 50 left to go now so that's good oh yeah jade look at your twitter messages <laughs> you've got some i out. have many so i'm not sure which one you're on about but that did <laughs> prompt me to look but I'm, I'm <laughs> there. um I'm just halfway through a book, 76 pages. Oh, God, 130. Went to a food shop. Nice. Um, tidied my desk. Very nice. 20 pages. I'm not going to get through all of these. There's so many. Ooh, intriguing. Okay, I've just opened that one. That was a big conversation. Yes. I'm trying to decide whether I want to read all the Wandering Light. I gave the first one three and a half. I don't know if I care enough. Oh, is that I've heard that even the Darkest Star sequel? Yeah, I've heard that the second one is better, but I don't know. I'm planning on picking it up later, possibly. We'll see. Possibly. Yeah, I think I've read when I finished this book. I think I've done 900 pages this week, which I'm thrilled with. Thank That's much more than I'm going to read in a week, but it's because 400 of them are middle grade. So, yeah. I'm so glad you're enjoying that, though. It's really cute. I'm not loving it quite as much as it was at the beginning because it's not as much House Stranger Dragon vibes now, but it's still really good. I'm liking it more than most middle grade I read. So, happy with that. 75% into Winter's Promise. Uh, um, I don't know how much longer we're carrying on. I'm happy to do at least one more because I need to edit anyway, which makes no difference to me if I'm doing it with this on or not. So may as well. Yeah. It's just up to these two if they want to keep going. Or if, I'm happy to carry on. if I come off here, I will probably do nothing. That's the thing. I know if I turn this off, I will sit on my phone for an hour before I edit. Whereas if yeah. I say I'm editing, I'll go in 10 minutes when we sprint. Yeah. And yesterday I was like, yeah, I'm planning on reading um, the book that I read last night and then moving on to other stuff. I ended up not doing that. And I ended up watching Greenland instead, which is the new Gerald Butler book. Oh, where's that? Out? I really want to see that. Amazon Prime. It's really good. Nice. Because I really want to see it. Yeah. I That's the one with it. like the meteors, right? Yeah, yeah. And I had a good time with that, but obviously, naturally, similarly, if I come off here, I will probably go and do a similar thing and watch a movie instead of reading. So I want to finish editing this haul, upload all of these videos, 
and then carry on with this. So I'm happy to stick around for as long as you want to go. Cool. Uh, Jade, do you have in mind when you want to do polathon sprints? Because I mean, no, that's probably all the way on. Pardon? 7 p.m. So 7 I'm good until then. So make sure that we are off before then and that you have time to eat at some point as well. I'm concerned that you're going to be on sprints from 10 a.m. till midnight without <laughs> having a break. Right. I had a bacon sandwich. That's the most I've true. eaten by this point all week. That's so true, actually. I'm proud of you. This is the best <laughs> day I've done for food. So yeah i'm thinking if we do an hour for the next one i can probably get the majority of my vlog edited hopefully whoop, whoop. and then i might do one more to do this and we'll it's we're playing it by year basically but it's fun um, um also has oh, yeah. i eat on every live i'm on so it's never really a problem oh yeah <laughs> i always eat on lives <laughs> Uh, what time is it? For us, it is about half past three. So we've been here for five and a half hours. That's a question. How do you check how many hours you have left on StreamYard? It'll email you when you've got, like, a couple left. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Because I did six, six, seven hours last week. I'm probably going to do similar because we're already on five and a half this week. Yeah. I'm going to make sure I for next weekend. I'm, I'm thinking in the next few days i might just be getting Streamyard premium if we're honest yeah. i think it's been a decent investment yeah it's not that expensive i mean it's more than netflix that's what throws me i'm like this is more than netflix am i getting more out of this than i am netflix but also i want to do these so yeah I piggyback off my brother's Netflix, so I don't even pay for that. Yeah, I never <laughs> oh. pay Netflix. Yeah, no, I don't pay for my Netflix. My brother pays. Well, I think my mum now pays for it because the whole family were using it on his account. So she was just like, we'll take over paying for it because we all use it, though only he and I use it. Who knows? But I don't pay for it. But value wise. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, there is a limit. 20 hours a month, I think. Yeah. Is the limit. For um, streaming out get the unlimited one and it's is, yeah. quid a month. yeah yeah quite a lot but i think i'm going to do it because if i'm doing this four times a month we're yeah. going to run out of hours very rapidly yeah yeah Oops. I, don't, like, I obviously have needed them for this week but i'm feeling like after this week i'm probably not going to get through 20 hours a month anymore yeah. 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 Because the only reason I got it was for mini polathon where I was doing like masses of sprints, and then this polathon where I've done masses of sprints. I'm now not going to have a polathon for a little while, so I probably am not going to need it. <laughs> yeah. Are you planning on doing any regular sprints just yourself, or are you thinking pops not? Really. Yeah. You just tend to do like Patreon ones, don't you? And even they're not like. Oh, that's a good that point. Regular. Yeah. yeah, I will still need it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's someone commenting on my prints behind me. <laughs> wow. That is so pretty. Damn. Oh, Ghibli. So we've got all of the Ghibli characters. Cows <gasps> Moving Castle. Haku. Calcifer. Haku. <laughs> oh my god. That's so cute. I it's off topic but i am so sad i have i used to collect enamel pins and i had the most stunning haru pin and it's my favorite thing ever and somehow in moving back and forth to uni moving back the final time my whole collection got lost oh no i have no idea how it happened but only i only now have the pins that were on my jacket at the time i lost like 60 That's 70 really pins really upsetting <laughs> and I'm just, I cannot work out where they've gone. Like I emptied my uni room and came home in a car. Like, but they've never reappeared, and I can't work it out. And it's really, really sad. Because I might actually see if I can replace that Harry Pink. It's fucking stunning. Mm -hmm. Um, someone saying this is better for me than Netflix. You don't have to pay the subscription. <laughs> yeah, true. But it, I also agree, it's fun, so I want to do it. Fave Ghibli movie. Spirited Away, hands down. 
I think I feel like I'm gonna say Spirited Away, but I feel like Howl's Moving Castle almost overtook it, but I've just seen Spirited Away a ton of times. I think I've only seen Howl's like once or twice. So Spirited Away feels more familiar. Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle. Totoro. I didn't like Totoro. Kiki's Delivery Service. Need to watch. Whisper of the Heart. Need to watch. Probably the cat turns. Like, honestly, all of them. <laughs> yeah. Except then, Grave of the Fireflies and Ocean Waves. Don't like them. I did really like Ponyo, though. I enjoyed Ponyo. What was the other one I was going to say? My brain's just gone. There was another one I used to really like. I can't remember what it was. I haven't seen any of them. Princess oh, Monday. Princess was Haunted. Laputa. Oh my god. Laputa. Princess Mononoke, I really need to watch. I feel like I would love it and I've never got around to watching it. Princess Mononoke is brilliant. So is Laputa. So is Nausicaa. I always forget about Laputa and Nausicaa because they're such early ones in it. Oh. Beaver balls. Not Beaver a clue. Beaver balls is. Oh my god. The name escapes me. Beaver balls. I, it's gonna annoy me. I have no idea, so. I don't know. I, I really need to get into more Ghibli. I really, really have enjoyed the ones I've watched, and I used to watch a lot of anime. The thing I've found in the last few years is I so rarely have the time to sit down and watch TV that when I am, I'm normally editing or doing something on my phone or like doing errands whilst it's on. I rarely sit and watch. And Pompoko, I don't... Hmm? Pompoko is big. Um, but yeah, because I rarely sit down and watch, I'm personally not a huge fan of dubs most of the time. I just can't watch anime and Ghibli anymore because subtitles means I can't be doing jobs whilst watching, which I don't have time for. Mm. Yeah, I'm usually asking if I've got a movie on. Is it me? Can anybody else hear that echo? I can hear it, but I don't know where it's coming from. Considering I can't hear it, I would assume it's me. I will turn you all down and see if that's any better. Is that... Oh, there we go. Is it better? I can't hear yeah, it. Now, yeah. That seems to be better. <laughs> yeah, I've got you really quiet so that it won't be coming out of speaking and going back in. Cool. Sweet. Um, I'll put headphones in when I'm editing anyway, so th those will be on my other computer. Logic. <laughs> be fine. Um, what team are Maddie and Steph on? I'm on team Arctic Fox. I'm on team Penguin. No, no. I don't, oh, I don't know how to say our war cry. I know it's from What Does the Fox Say, but I haven't listened to that song recently enough to know how it's said. Wap, pa, 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 pa. Okay, cool. Because every time I just go like, wap, pa, 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 and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you have your newt, newt, flop, flop. Wap, pa, 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 pa. <laughs> I love how extra ours is. <laughs> See, someone's like, they were so more dubbing. Like, that's fine. I personally... I think just because like when I first watched anime, I watched dubbed and then switched to subbed and subbed was just so much better for most of the ones I was watching. What's I was dubbing? Like, I'm so like anti-dubbed now. What's dubbing? Dubbing is when they get an English speaker to re-record it and they play that over the original animation. So you, it's just like watching it in English. I see. But I felt like the voices often just didn't match right in a lot of the animes I watched. And I was like, I don't like it. I like subbed. I yeah. don't like it when the English voice actor is someone you know from something else. Exactly. That throws me off. If it's an English voice actor that I've never heard of before, or whose voice I cannot place, yeah. then I'm fine with it. But if it's someone whose voice I recognise from somewhere else, I'm like, no. There's <laughs> <laughs> a way I've watched dubbed and I thought was really good. Because the first time I ever saw that, I was dubbed, and I didn't mind that at all, actually. So yeah. I should probably try some more Ghibli stuff. Like, Your Name, I feel like the dub's meant to be really good, and I need to watch that as well. I know it's not Ghibli. I think a lot of the Ghibli dubs are good. I have all of the films on DVD. 
them. I'm going to have to try them. I kind of want to re read some of them first, though. Like, I want to read Howl's mm -hmm. Moving Castle before I watch it. Same with Kiki's Delivery Service. So kind of want to read some of them before I watch them. Howl's Moving Castle is one of my faves. Like, yeah, also just... Really something someone said, just so true, is I cannot watch dubbed if it's, like, real people. Animation you can get away with. But real people, it just doesn't line up. And I feel yeah. like my brain is breaking. Yeah, it does my head. And also it line up with the words and I can't cope with it. Like I'm one of these people that if my speaker and my video have like a millisecond off, I cannot watch it. It throws me so much. Yeah. Right. Shall we sprint as we're a minute late? I made it. For sure. For sure. It's duty. Let's go.
she shit herself. That's well funny. <laughs> when am I going to learn to pay attention to my own sprints when I'm editing? <laughs> oh dear. How did everyone do? Good. I'm a nice. Is it fast? It is quite fast, yeah. So I'm now on page 129. Good job. So 79 pages then, but yeah. Um, I managed to finish editing my haul, upload nice. both videos finally, and I managed, how many pages did I manage of this? Because I listened the whole time as well. 94 pages of this as well. Oh my God. So I have about 40 minutes left of the audio. You could definitely, st oh no, you were going to carry on with Well of Ascension, ignore me. I, I might still, I don't know. Do you think I should read? I really want to read Even the Darkest Stars 2. I keep forgetting the name of it. You've, you've got like six and a half hours once you've finished that one. Yeah, let me work out how long it will take on the audio while you... Do, do the mental maths. Yeah, I have started editing my blog and realised that having thought I hadn't filmed anything all week, I have almost an hour of footage. So it's going to be long because um, I cannot be quiet ever. Um, how do we do? I just love this comment. It's such a mood. <laughs> um, did a cardio workout. Right, 15 pages. Over halfway through North Child. Breakfast, editing, there's so many comments. I watched Jade's vlog as well, whilst the clips were trying, well, I, I say I watched Jade's, I watched Jade day four, I'm behind. Um, How rude. <laughs> I'm catching up. Um, I'm up to date, I haven't watched yesterday's yet though. Um, so on 2.5 speed, it would take me four hours, 35 minutes, but I'm sure I kicked it up to about 2.8 when I was following along with the book. So that would take me just, oh, just over four hours to listen to the audiobook. You have that long. Yeah. Because Jade's really good at doing like 40 minute sprints as well. Mm -hmm. 40 or 45 minute sprints. That's exactly well, what sorry, like 45, the yeah. yeah. So I could nail that in like five, six sprints ish. You might, you probably won't go that long, but if I start it before, if yeah, I can get it started before, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's only 10 to five. You'll get some of it read before seven o'clock. Yeah, because I'm probably gonna move downstairs in the next sprint, mm -hmm. finish this, start the other one, and then make tea after that, maybe. You've got this. It's a plan. <laughs> Demanding a cup of tea. <laughs> Go on, babe. I've seen a lot of people asking, like, was that the last sprint? Is Jade doing sprints? Jade is doing sprints from seven. And I don't think that was our last sprint. I mean, I'm going to do another one. I don't know if you guys are hanging um, around or not. Yeah, yeah. Five till six, I assume. Yeah. We're going to do another hour. Yeah. And then that will that be our last one, I assume? Because I'm then I going think, yeah, I think do that. Do like 10, 15 minutes chat. And, and then that gives like a 45 minute break for everyone before your sprints. Nice. Which seems solid. So like this next one will be the last sprint. Yeah. What happens at seven? Jade runs sprints on her channel. I have sprints on my channel with my Polython hosts so team leaders are going to be there and we're going to see Polython out I can't believe how fast it's caught I'm like mm -hmm. how long it's nearly done it's been such a good week shall I set the date for next Polython let's have a look at Ooh. yeah baby next I love Lisa's Polython or like are you doing an in between one for next Feb uh, I won't do like a week long one before yeah. next Feb, you like, did like a mini one in December though didn't you yeah I might do like another weekend in December people keep asking now for the meltdown so yeah. I might do a meltdown in summer I don't know but again it would probably only be a weekend thing yeah um, but the next official polathon 
exclusive information just for you lot here John well, roll. Really easy to work it out like <laughs> you could work it out for yourself very easily it's going to be the 7th of feb 2022 to the 13th of feb 2022 Ooh. why are you knocking on the door <laughs> <laughs> enter oh no that question miss do you oh in a sec all right Chill your beans. Oi! <laughs> Chill your beans. But yeah, 7th to the 13th next year. Yes. What was Pris saying? Charlotte said Pris is such a mood. What's she saying? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> nice. Pris has gone full penguin today. She has. I saw Lisa say, just get a takeaway, Steph, and you don't have to waste time cooking. That's a good shout. <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm really considering takeaway tonight. I'm, I'm trying to, to cook, especially as I've done all my washing up, and I'm like, I don't want to do it again. Yeah, I got curry the other night, but you know what? I might just get pizza. We ordered Chinese last night, so I can't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't He's know. like a puppy do. wanting attention. He is. Jake is like a puppy. That is the most accurate description of him I've ever seen. Our <laughs> child. More like a puppy. Yeah, to be fair, you still need to feed a puppy. Like the other day we had the whole conversation of did you feed the child, as in Jake? The puppy <laughs> makes more sense, actually. Because he's kind of cute about it. Yeah, he's yeah. kind of cute about it. Yeah. He's kind of. He angry, he makes me laugh. I think, like, there we go. You guys are so cute. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I ship the Wentz so hard. The Wentz. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Jade went where? God knows. Where did she go? Where did My she go? My married name is going to be awful. <laughs> the one you've got. <laughs> I don't like it when people have a single syllable first name and a single syllable surname. Yeah. It just sounds wrong. And I mean, yeah. that's what Jake's got. It just sounds wrong. <laughs> no, don't like it. Yeah. Um, also, I saw this earlier, people asking for the polar font submission deadline. I think you said you're going to start processing numbers tomorrow evening, our time. So, like, Basically, you've got about 24 hours from now, ish. Just over, yeah, just over yeah. 24 hours from now. So you've got plenty of time, basically, to submit. Yeah. And I need someone nag me. I'm going to forget that that's the thing that I need to do. Oh, I looked at it earlier and I had like a bunch of submissions from a Mads. Oh, I thought it was you, but obviously it's not. <laughs> no, I've not done it yet. On the basis, she needs to fill in, finish her third book. It wouldn't it's add up. Frog Mella. I'm just swinging Frogmella around. Frogmella mm. is having the time of her life. She's so fluffy. I could sleep on her. I love it. She's so cute. Uh -huh. <sighs> oh. Wait, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. My surname isn't great either, though. Like, rat bag. I love it. It's not actually rat bag for those that don't know. But <laughs> I love it. <laughs> bag of rats. I, it makes me laugh. I love it. Dave rat bag. Oh, makes my life better. Page count update. Jade has been saying this, but it's worth noting that this page count update means practically nothing because it's going yeah. to be pages per person. Yeah, so, so it really does mean like, it's not going to mean anything at the end necessarily because like yeah. bigger numbers are just bigger teams. I did update a thousand pages for Team Penguin last night though. So. I'm going to do 900 for Team Arctic mm -hmm. Fox tonight. Has someone got past 200k? Yes. Holy <gasps> shit. Polar Bears, 202,423. Holy crap. Walruses, 181,415. Foxes, 172,363. Penguins, 126,076. But 
if I go to the other form where I can see the pie chart for like who's yeah. got the biggest segment of people, I don't know exact numbers, but I can see which team is the biggest. Does it correspond? It corresponds almost exactly. Polar bears closely followed by walrus little bit behind but not too far behind foxes and then only 18 percent is penguins wow so penguins so, are the smallest segment so the smallest so pick. on monday with the results then if things could just completely flip on their head there is a possibility oh, yeah. that could happen. there is a strong possibility that that will happen because yeah. i'm saying shouldn't the winner be calculated based on average it is it is yeah it will it's be eventually, eventually to save doing the maths every day. It's just yeah. Like, yeah, I, I did say I'm not doing that math every day. And but also it's a mystery. Yeah, yeah, I will work it out properly Monday night and announce it. But I think when it comes down to average, it's going to be closer than we think. Oh, yeah. So if, it if it corresponds exactly like the, not as in like numbers of people on a team, but like biggest team, biggest number, like that's probably yeah. going to be quite close. I just just for the fun of it, I did do um, the average last night for Team Polar Bear and Team Penguin to see like the two extremes, mm -hmm. and they were close. Ooh, <laughs> I am excited! I am one hundred percent finishing both of these books tonight. I'm going to do it. We're going to get an extra seven hundred odd pages tonight from me, Team Penguin. We've got this. <laughs> I'm contributing nine hundred all week, and you're doing seven hundred in a day. <laughs> <laughs> my pages aren't going anywhere i'm just reading for fun <laughs> <laughs> oh it's fun though it must be like i was gonna say it must be nice having it like low stress because you're not for a team but actually there's no way in hell it's low stress because you're running the whole thing yeah running the whole thing reading a book a day daily vlogging you smashed it yeah. scrap that you've got the worst yeah. <laughs> to be fair you smashed it this week I don't know how you do daily vlogs. I literally don't know how you do that and read a vlog. This is why read a vlog a day. is only a week. Yeah. yeah. I could not do this for longer than a week. Maddie, when I tell you, like, you can't see my eyes very well here, but they are so bloodshot. Like, oh, this no. one has a full-on, like, burst blood vessel. Like, oh, my God. Like, uh, it hurts. Feels like someone's, like, stabbed a toothpick in my eyeball. Shit. But I'm, I'm going. I'm still going. <laughs> Please sleep tonight. Just please. Long legend, to be fair. Like, other than the fact it's just I'm an like, immense amount of work. I don't well, know how you have enough hours. Like, reading, I did read a book a day last October or whatever and didn't complete it. And I was not doing anything else. <laughs> like, I don't know yeah. how you do it. I think I've been quite tactful with picking what books I've read each day. Yeah. In the, the longest book I've read this week is the one I'm reading currently at 389 pages. Yeah. So they're all under 400 pages. Um, you smashed it. I kind of like, I did daily vlogging once last year and I've really enjoyed it just for a week. Really, really enjoyed it. And I kind of want to do it again for something. And I was going to do it for this this week, but because of how shit I'd been for two weeks with just in life and general vlogging i was like i'm not gonna push myself like that because i haven't uploaded a video in like a week mm. so i didn't do it but i think i might do again for another readathon that's like a week long soon maybe mm. i don't know i don't know what readathon's coming up but anyway i enjoy it i think it's cool you know what, what readathon is you coming know. Up? do you know what? total numbers for how many people have taken part not off the top of my head it would need working out based on names and duplicate names in the spreadsheet, yeah. etc. I know the total number of submissions. Is that like how many books there are then? Yeah. Ooh, what's that? 1,977. That's very short. That's a lot. Are we going to surpass 2,000 books in a week? Yeah. I mean, I'm submitting three, so that's a, th uh, seven, a seventh of what you have left to get to 2K. Yeah, and I'm submitting another two tonight as well. Well, tomorrow. Okay. That's a quarter. It's a fifth. Almost. Bless everyone telling me to take care of myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in pain, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, days. Right. Do we want to get the last sprint going? Yeah. One more hour. 
<laughs> I'm gonna go and make Drake a cup of tea so he stops whinging. <laughs> so I'm sure. not.
<laughs> being called out in the comments. <laughs> you good, Max? You good? I literally had two pages left. I was like, I'm sorry, but just, just give me two minutes. <laughs> you finished? I have. And I got my vlog edited. So I can literally now, when we're done, film the clip for this, put it in, and the vlog's completely done. Yay! Yeah. And what are you going to rate it? Four, I think. I'll be, I think I'd be astonished if a middle grade ever made a five for me. I think that would take a lot, but like it's a solid four. I really, really enjoyed it. I do want to read this. Yeah, I four starred. I didn't get four star from you. Wow. It was four for both of them. Mm. That's a pretty I'm good rating. I'm almost taking that as a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pretty good rating for someone that doesn't read middle grade much, though, to be oh, fair. Oh, yeah. Have you read any Sophie Anderson? You have, haven't you? No, I never tried Sophie Anderson. I do think you'll like Sophie Anderson. Too. Michelle Harrison? Is that Sprinkle of Sorcery? Maybe. I've got the first one, I've not read it yet. Could, maybe. I three starred the first one of that. Hmm. I know. I'm very in the minority. I'm like one of the only people that's ever done that, I think. <laughs> I love this as well. I literally only did it because I heard Steph's mouse click to unmute and I was like, no. <laughs> Not yet. You just, just re-muted her. <laughs> I had to, <laughs> I had I had to, to mute myself again before I burst out laughing and everyone heard me. <laughs> yeah. I managed to finish Black Ice Bridge. Turn it round, Steph. Yay! I gave it five stars. Oh, the girl who drank the moon. Good shout. Then. I think I do. I do really want to try that one. That one sounds good. The um, I'm also. I mean, I'm literally. It should be downstairs. Me to collect right now. Amari and the Night Brothers. I'm optimistic about. Yeah. That's what do you think of Black Eyes Bridge, Steph? You've now finished the trilogy. Yeah, so I gave the first one five stars, the second mm -hmm. one four, and this one five. Yeah. I just loved the way it ended, and I thought that, I know there's a new one just come out, but I thought that was, like, number one in a next trilogy. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's book four in this series. So I've, like, just put this down on Core Pile as being the last in the series, but when you go on Goodreads, the next one is actually book four in this series, according to Goodreads. <laughs> So Ocean Squid Explorers Club is book four in Polar Bear Explorers Club. Yeah, which I thought was confusing. I think that's slightly incorrect. I think it's yeah, a second it's trilogy. Yeah. So, I mean, logically, yes, it's fourth in that world, but it's a trilogy. Yeah. A trilogy. That's yeah, what I, I think that would be. I feel like that's like calling the first book in the Infernal Devices book four in the Shadow Hunters series or something. Yeah. yeah. It is, yeah. but it's not. It's like but calling Goodreads... Ship of Magic book four of... Yeah, uh, but Goodreads is pretty yeah. good with usually separating them and saying, oh, this is book seven in the entire, you know, Elderling series, but it's actually book three in this series. It's pretty good at doing that, whereas with this one, it's literally saying it's the fourth book in this entire series. It all depends, but uh, Goodreads is only updated by librarians, so if it's not yeah. out yet, they don't realise it may just not be right. It came out about a week ago, the other day. Yeah, I would I would not oh, yeah. be overly surprised if in the next while that changes. Or it may just be they've technically published under that, but I would still call that the last but one. following the same person, following a new girl called Ursula in yeah. the next one. Yeah, so I would, I, just, I, would, I would have marked that as end of a series. Yeah, which is great because this is the first series I've finished. And also, I started it this week. <laughs> and I'm about to finish another series tonight too. <laughs> Woohoo! That was also a really interesting question saying, do you ever feel immature or like adequate about your reading choices for like enjoying YA and not liking classics and stuff? Never. I feel like I used to when I didn't read any adult because I used to struggle with adult just because it was unfamiliar to me and it's like getting into any new genre, it's difficult. And I feel like at that point, I felt sort of like, how can I just not understand this? I'm 21, I should be able to. But now I've read a few and I've got used to the style of it. No. 
I think there are differentiations. So, for example, Keeper of the Lost Cities, I found too immature for myself. Like, I love middle grades. Mm. Similarly, I think Jade had the same feelings yeah. with it. It was quite immature, and it is for a lower level than I would usually read at. So this, for me, for example, is just a lot of fun and a yeah. great adventure, and I really enjoyed it. And these are the sort of books that I will keep for my nephew's collection for when he's older. Whereas like Keepers, I did just find it, ironically enough though, because I friggin' love Winnie the Pooh, but I think it's quite, uh, Winnie the Pooh can cover like an entire range. It can cover your yeah. entire life, I think, Winnie the Pooh. So rather than just being for kids, I don't know. There is, I am getting to a point now where I'm finding, finding some YA books too young for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I am getting to a point where I'm finding like YA romance, for example, too young. I just want to read adult romance or something. But I just love reading middle grade and it's all Gavin Jade's fault. <laughs> but it's middle grade fantasy, middle grade adventure. Like kids having yeah. fun. Yeah. Not like boring middle grade. <laughs> it's something I was thinking whilst reading this. Is like if you said the main character was 16 and switched out the funny curse words for actual curse words and like very, very slightly edited the language, you could sell this as YA and no one would question it. Yeah. So like I feel like a lot of middle grade isn't as young as I guess and I would assume it is. For a lot of the ones that me and Gav tend to like is yeah. that they are darker than you would expect them to be for mm -hmm. children's books. Yeah. Similarly with this, the illustrations of the characters in here look a lot older than they, they are supposed to be. I, I've, I've struggled all the way through to gauge how old the characters are meant to be in this because they look a lot like older. 13? Yeah, they just appear a lot older. Like there was a section where Felix was in with them all on here. Mm. And I was trying to, I struggled to figure out who Felix was because they all look a similar age. Felix is Stella's dad. Yeah. <laughs> and I struggled to figure out which one he was. I figured it out in the end. You've got to look closely, but I do think that kind of plays into it a little bit. Like some of the middle grade can seem a bit more YA-ish than middle grade. I don't know. Yeah. Um, That's another reason I think you'll enjoy um, Michelle Harrison is because Michelle Harrison is older middle grade and also darker. Yeah, it was fun, and she then. tries to put in as much as she can get away with in terms of the darkness until her editor tells her to stop. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, this, yes, not because they're not acting age appropriate, but just like please, just put them the age they clearly are instead of trying to fit them into YA. The one I always gone about is Six of Crows. I am yeah. sorry, no one in that series is under twenty five. Like, try again. They're not. Yeah. So don't call them 16 just for the sake of selling it as YA because they're clearly not 16. That, yeah. was, a, that was the publisher's choice though, wasn't it? But didn't Lee yeah. go write it as yeah. older and they said, let's age them down. Yeah, yeah. But it annoys me because it's a thing that clearly happens so often. Like no <laughs> YA protagonist acts like a teenager or it's so rare. They all act like someone in their 20s. And I'm like, just yeah. say that it's why new adult needs to be a thing. Because then people would actually write characters in their 20s who aren't having marital problems. Yeah. But, yeah. but yes, it does annoy me. Yeah. I love reading middle grade, though. Yeah. I, I do want to try and read a few more, but it just has never done as much for me as YA an adult. And because I don't read that many books, it's just never a priority. Yeah, makes sense. But I feel like with readathons and stuff, I, it's quite good because it's quick, obviously. I think I'm surprised at how older this felt because I honestly thought it was going to be really young and it's not at all. Oh, nice. It's really good. Have Old. you read Wondersmith, Maddie? Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed Wondersmith, to be fair. And that's still only got four stars. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like part of the reason is it's very, very rare for me to rate a book five stars that doesn't have like really gorgeous writing. Yeah, and you need you flowery. Get lyrical flowery writing. Yeah, you might yeah. get that out. I feel like Michelle Harrison is a little bit like that though, mm. especially in the sorcery, sprinkle of sorcery book. Because I did. Anderson. Sophie Anderson's writing is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. 
Especially in the girl who speaks bear. That's my favourite out of all of them. The writing in that one. Is there a specific good. audio meant to read Sir Anderson in, or can you start with any? Chicken legs, bear, tangled magic. Cool. And I would recommend it because I read The Bear first and then The House with Chicken Legs. And I felt that I didn't enjoy The House with Chicken Legs as much on the basis that it is her first book. And I'd already come across The House with Chicken Legs in The Girl Who Speaks Bear. So it wasn't as fascinating to me because I'd already kind of come across it. Whereas when you read Chicken Legs first and then you see The House with Chicken Legs again, you're like, oh, my God, it's yeah. The Chicken Legs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, let's be saying, like, there's no hope if I've only written four stars. Four stars is not bad. Like well, I am perfectly well, content if I never yeah. rate middle grade five stars. I can still enjoy them. Like yeah. for someone who feels book, like it's like YA contemporary. I've rated about four or five YA contemporaries five stars ever. It's just not the sort of thing that for some reason equates to a five star for me. Doesn't mean it's bad. Just <laughs> isn't. Um, Pet by Craig here, Mezzi. I really want to read. But I've heard a lot of people say that it's middle grade, but like not really. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I gave it four stars. I think I gave it four stars as well. Yeah. Right. I feel like we should probably start wrapping up because it's a very I interesting. I need to go and make dinner. I'm going to order some food in. So. Yeah, me too, Maddie. I might get pizza. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> I'm probably just going to throw some chicken nuggets in the oven. Chicken I'm, I, I'm ordering chicken nuggets and like cross cut chips from a restaurant nearby because mm -hmm. I've never ordered to here before and I went on Deliveroo and there's so many options. <laughs> it's exciting. So I'm going to do it. Nice. Right. Cool. So I think that is it. Eight and a bit hours later. Yeah. We did a, in a good shift today, you know. It changed so much though. Yeah, same. It's mad. I would not have got any of this. I might have gotten through Black Ice Bridge or I probably would have saved it for tonight and sacked off the other book. So how far through that are you now? You're just I'm under halfway. Well, you're just under halfway. I'm on page 180 of 390. So I've Good got job. 210 math. Yeah. <laughs> 210. <laughs> Smashing it. Yeah, no, because I've read, what, 320 pages of this, filmed a video and edited a video, which I'm quite happy with. That's decent. Cool. cool. All right. Let's go yeah. so I can go and have some dinner. I'm yes, out. let's let Jade eat. And then we will see, I'm sure, a lot of you in the comments at seven on Jade's channel. Yeah. <laughs> on Sprints. Just be there. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.